Hello everyone, welcome back here to the channel Sao Paulo Azul and Super Academico and today I'm going to do the reading of the chapter 2 of my book uh, Phenomenon and before I begin don't forget to subscribe to both channels give like, subscribe, uh, subscribe, give like, comment and share the video and so to give you some context uh, this is the, the the, the book Phenomenon I wrote in 2001 and it's released on, on, the, on the internet and uh, in the market uh, it's available on Amazon if you want and I'll be reading the chapter 2 in chapter 1 we were introduced to the main character Joseph, Joseph Temerson which has discovered that he has some uh, paranormal powers né? he can see uh, spirits, né? souls, spirits and, and in this way he discovers in himself the, 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 the will to study the paranormal and to understand better how, the, how is the relationship, relationship between the living and the dead so this is chapter 2 it was the day of my high school graduation. The class of 1972 had blessed us with a beautiful afternoon. My family was there and I just knew my brother was too. Just to clarify, his brother was killed in the Vietnam War and he saw he, his brother in the TV after he was dead. Uh, that was his first paranormal phenomenon. Most of my friends used to make fun of me because I told them I saw Donnie on the TV screen two years ago, but I that didn't bother me. But that did bother me. I saw what I saw and even though such phenomenon did happen again, I knew where my life was leading me unlike all of them anyway ever since the day i saw donnie on the tv i didn't experience any other phenomenon that would affect me at least not up that moment <coughs> they were calling out our names so we could go get our high school diplomas the they were calling out those whose last name started with the letter C, like Andrew Carmine, the son of the butcher. He was so big that he could hang from one of his father's meat hooks in the butcher, butcher shop. My surname started with a T, as in Tamerson, and I knew it would take forever before I got to go up there. I began to observe the audience. My mother wouldn't stop smiling. After we lost Donnie, I became, became her only begotten son. Therefore, my father looked at me with a little more respect. I had become less boyish in his eyes. And my sister shared attention span between myself and the fiancé who was sitting next to her. He was too good of a good fellow for a law school graduate. Everyone was there, even Mr. Lane, the mail carrier. However, that was not specifically because of me, but because of all, all, of all those faces he became so familiar, familiar with all through the, the time he had been delivering their mail and their homes at their homes i started to look around and i saw my friends the school that i was leaving behind some of the girls who i had gone out with in the last four years so on and so forth actually there were only three and one of them was my third degree cousin i looked at the sky and the trees that surrounded us and then seemed to gradu gradually 
look and then all seem to congratulate us on our graduating. And it was then that I saw, <coughs> about 30 yards from our ceremony, another row of seniors and above them a stripe that said class of 1923. Ah, I got a little confused at first. Then I looked at that the people that were graduating with me but no one else seemed to have seen that so i got a little closer and saw another row with a banner right above them that read class of 1929 after that there was yet another one the class of 1932 and then all of a sudden there were lots of high school graduation ceremonies ceremonies taking place right there all at the same time. The one that was closest to us in time was the class of 1943 and there were a lot of people there. I looked at my sister and she, s she immediately picked up on the strange vibe coming from my eyes. She tried to see what I was seeing to my eyesight but she saw nothing beyond the landscape. She then realized it was happening again. In these past two years, she watched my interest in paranormal issues grow and for the second time, she, w she witnessed, wit witnessed my reaction before a phenomenon. I kept looking at all the other classes as my Mine was moving on in the alphabetical order, calling out people who would get up there, get their diplomas and then vanish in, into the horizon. That fascinated me. At that time, <coughs> that had been enough to impress me. However, as time went by, I realized that the spirits were celebrating their happiest moments the same way we do. That moment in their high school graduation was just as special to them. They were receiving their diplomas, leaving their school behind, getting on with their lives, so on and so forth. The spirits also enjoy living that spirit over and over again. That's why they, kept, they keep going back in time and go through those happy moments in their lifetime again. Joseph Termerson, the pronunciation of my name was uh, as well as a little push from this guy that I was sitting behind me and whose name I don't recall woke me up. Nonetheless, it was my turn to get up and go get my diploma. And so, and soon, I received it. I turned to the other classes, but they were no longer there. Apparently, as soon as I finished going through what they went through, they began to disappear from my sight, just like the ones who would get up to go get their diplomas would disappear one after another as soon as they got up. I wondered if somebody else had seen them. But it was hard for me to ask. Besides, I was on my way to college anyways anyways. And there is and that is where these questions get answered. At least that was what I thought. My friends and family congratulated me. Everyone was leaving. My sister was still looking at me at, with a curious expression on her face. So, as I was proceeding towards the outside, I didn't resist and glanced back at the, those classes. Then, to my happy surprise, they were all sitting there, doing the same thing, same things we're doing. I mean, greeting, hugging family members and friends, and living through that moment of happiness over again on the very same evening. After telling Anne, Anne is his sister, what I had seen, 
She seemed to be, have believed in me, believe in my vision at least, that time around. Back in my bedroom, sitting on my bed and looking at my diploma, I imagined if my brother Donnie would not be there in the field relieving his graduation day, so as my sister and even myself. And that was the chapter two of the book Phenomenon. In hopes someday will be available to everyone. Everyone got interested to hear, to read, to read this story, or maybe become a movie or a series. Who knows? So this is, was the video for today. I hope you enjoy this reading. I'll do more readings like that in the future for both channels. And please subscribe. Give like to the, the video, subscribe to the channels and comments and share the video. Till next time, bye bye.